दिस इज गेट नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम रिलेशनल एलजेब्रा द क्वेश्चन इज सेंगेट यू हैव टू कंसिडर जॉइन बाय डिफॉल्ट जॉइन मीन्स वॉट बाय डिफॉल्ट जॉइन मीन्स वॉट बाय डिफॉल्ट बाय डिफॉल्ट जॉइन मीन्स वॉट बाय डिफॉल्ट जॉइन मीन्स नेचुरल जॉइन ओके बाय डिफॉल्ट इफ समथिंग इज नॉट गिवन देन बाय डिफॉल्ट जॉइन मीन्स नेचुरल जॉइन ओके नेक्स्ट सो टेल मी कंसिडर द रिलेशन जॉइन ऑफ रिलेशन आर एंड एस यू आर डूइंग द जॉइन ऑफ रिलेशन आर एंड एस if r has m tuples s has n tuples then maximum and minimum size of join respectively okay so tell me what will be the answer so very simple you can notice your your relation r your relation s what the question is saying in the relation r you have m tuples so these m tuples you have here and these n tuples you have here and what the question is saying that you are doing their join you are doing their natural join this natural join you are doing and the finally in the result in the result what is the maximum comma minimum number of tuples maximum minimum number of tuples this is what we want okay so tell me in which situation you will get minimum number of tuples in which situation you will get minimum number of tuples so if i want minimum number of tuples let's assume i want minimum number of tuples then if i want minimum number of tuples what should match nothing should match but 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 okay but tell me tell me this is what i am asking a simple question i am asking you tell me the answer let's assume r has a comma b and s has c comma d will we get minimum number of tuples in this situation will we get minimum number of tuples in this situation in this situation what we will get in this situation this situation will give you maximum number of tuples yes or yes or no in this situation at this situation actually will give you maximum number of tuples this situation will actually give you maximum number of tuples yes or no so this will actually give you maximum number of tuples so this logic can i say this logic is uh, enough if nothing is matching is that logic enough if nothing is matching is that logic enough that is not enough yes or no that is not enough that is not enough so this situation actually will give you maximum number of tuples correct this situation will actually give you maximum number of tuples this situation what other situation will give you maximum number of tuples what other situation will give you maximum number of tuples but before that let's see minimum number of tuples before that so minimum number of tuples if you want then at least one attribute must be common agree or not then at least one attribute must be common at least one common attribute at least one common attribute at least one common attribute okay yes or no at least one common attribute and 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 now if nothing matches okay no okay no matching no matching for common attribute yes or no no matching for common attributes in r comma in r comma s okay if there is no matching for common attributes in r comma s now you will get the minimum number of tuples and that will be zero now you will get minimum number of tuples that will be zero agree or not so far do you agree okay very simple this is what i am saying if you have for example if you have r let's assume ab and you have s where you have cd now you can notice they do not match like 1 2 1 3 you can notice 4 5 6 7 now you can notice they are not matching but actually they will give you maximum number of tuples this r this actually will give you how many tuples this actually will give you four tuples this actually will give you four tuples so if you have like okay this will actually give you two into two tuples this actually will give you two into two tuples okay so even though there is nothing matching nothing is matching but still it will give you this many tuples because we know if no common attribute then it will become cross product if no common attribute then it will become cross product if there is no common attribute now you consider this a b and you have a d a b a d now in this situation let's assume you have 1 2 3 4 and let's assume you have here uh maybe 3 4 2 1 now you can notice this is the common attribute this is the common attribute but there is no matching yes or no there is no matching so there is common attribute there is no matching for for r dot a and s dot a there is no matching for these two okay so here actually 
the if you do the join operation if you do the natural join operation that will give you zero tuples that will give you zero tuples okay so now how will you get the maximum number of tuples to get the maximum number of tuples what we can do if this happens the common attribute always matches okay every value of common attribute matches with every value of common attribute yes or no every value of common attribute matches with every value of common attribute so this uh, this can happen for example let's assume every value of common attribute every value of common attribute matches with every value of common attribute this can be something two three two four okay this can be anything okay three four five six so here also you will get the maximum number of tuples here also you will get maximum number of tuples okay because everyone will match with everyone okay everyone every row will match with every row right yes or no every row will match with every row every row will match with every row so like that every row is going to match with every row whatever row you take that will match with every row so like this something is happening so i can say in this situation you will get the maximum number of tuples and that is m into n so for maximum number of tuples how many conditions you have tell me finally finally for maximum number of tuples if you want this maximum number of tuples r join s if you want minimum there is only one condition okay if you want minimum number of tuples that will be zero and there is only one condition only if if and only if at least one common attribute there okay there exists at least one common attribute there exists at least one common attribute at least one common attribute if and only if there exists at least one common attribute and and no matching and no matching on common attributes and no matching on common attributes yes or no yes correct so this is the only situation to give you minimum number of tuples this is the only situation so there should exist at least one common attribute you must have at least one common attribute and there is no matching on the common attribute and there is no matching on common attribute okay on common attribute there is no matching so tell me now how will you get maximum for maximum number of tuples your answer will be m into n right that will be cardinality of r multiplied by cardinality of s that is your mn that is your mn for that two things can happen for that two things can happen okay for that two things can happen so either this will happen either this will happen that there is no common attribute yes or no either this will happen there is no common attribute or this will happen or this will happen either this will happen okay either this will happen either this will happen or this will happen what will happen full matching or this will happen full matching on common attributes okay either this or this this will give you maximum number of tuples so that's it so finally here answer will be mn comma zero maximum comma minimum the answer will be option b but the complete analysis did you understand did you understand complete analysis tell me uh...